Hello, it's a vlog. Back at school, I just got back from Western slash Charlotte. I was visiting Colin. So yeah, I also just got my hair cut in Charlotte and it's like super nice, I love it. When you first get your hair cut, you can't stop touching it like that's me, but I'm gonna avoid touching it for the sake of you guys because I know that like literally makes so many people mad. So I'm gonna touch it really quick to fix it so it like looks good for this next clip and then I'm not touching it at all, promise. I figured I'm back at school now Everything's about to be normal for the next couple weeks. I'm not leaving. I'm not doing anything until like a month So I have like a month to just set out and grind So, um, yeah starting a new vlog this vlog is going to be all about how I drink Alcohol because I'm 21 in college and stay fit. Um, that is like a question. I seriously get so so much so much and um, That's what I just wanted to base this vlog around I've basically gotten it down to a science of like how I do this and I just like want to point out that what I do Probably will not work for everybody because everybody's body is different I've taken me like years to figure out how I am and what works for me and what I need to eat not eat drink not drink So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my tips in the beginning of this vlog and then um, After that I'm just gonna like turn this back into a regular vlog, but I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it really quick so um, For those of you who don't know I'm just gonna like have some I um, like I have hair in my eye really hold on so I'm a senior in college. I'm 21. I'll be 22 next April. I'm actually really looking forward to 22. I don't know why. Turned down the brightness a little bit. But um, so I am a consumer of alcohol. I do like to drink. I like to not like all the time. I like to socially drink with my friends. And with that being said, when I do go out and drink with my friends, it's never to like go out and get plastered. I am very rarely like super drunk off my ass ever. Like it's something crazy is happening one time it was Lauren's 21st birthday and like for those of you who don't know I've like never done a drug in my entire life I've like never smoked anything I've never done I've never even taken like Adderall and it's not because I like I don't care if people do it I just personally don't want to do it like if you do it, it doesn't phase me I still think you're an awesome person like that's not like that at all it's just my personal opinion it's how I want to go about life and a lot of people are always like Bianca why do you drink alcohol and you don't do drugs like alcohol is actually like more dangerous and like I, yeah I understand that it's just my personal opinion I really don't know how to explain it I just don't ever want to do drugs that's that with that being said and like the alcohol consumption a social drinker that's how I would describe myself as a social drinker and I freaking love mules and mojitos like find me drinking those all the time at restaurants that have them so how I figured out how to drink and stay fit first of all I just want to say that like this whole fitness thing is a lifestyle I know I preach that like no other but I like to work really hard and then treat myself and treating yourself could mean a cheat meal or like a cheat day i usually just do cheat meals not cheat days if i do cheat days i end up feeling like shit for me in college i cook all my meals at home i rarely ever eat out so for me a cheat meal would be drinking and going out with my friends and drinking probably ordering insomnia cookies that night um very rarely do i do that it's more of me considering my cheat meal as like going out and drinking um and that's how i treat it that's just how i like to think about it that's just the way i am i am a planner i like to plan out a lot so before the week starts i usually know what days i'm going out like this week i'm not going out on thursday which is the day i usually go out but we do have a football game on saturday so i'm saving myself for saturday is basically like my cheat day meal area so I will eat so good throughout the entire week and my biggest advice to do this and I know it's really hard when you're a freshman is to cook at home and cook your own meals and only buy healthy food because you're not gonna eat your friends food that you didn't buy so if you're the only one buying your food then if you stock your pantry and you stock your fridge with healthy foods then that's all you're gonna have to eat and then also because you bought all that food you're not gonna want to go out and eat because then you're gonna end up wasting the food that you bought you know yeah biggest tip number one for staying fit is like the pre process to like you drinking one day is to eat very healthy and stay on your game like if you make it a habit to consistently eat healthy throughout the week and then have one cheat meal then that's just going to become your new normal and every single like monday through friday you're going to be like oh this is what i eat and um i'm like eating good and you're going to start feeling really good so you're not going to want to cheat and it just comes into like a butterfly effect basically of like you not wanting to cheat when i do drink i drink really low calorie drinks i'm a very big fan of lime white claws very big fan and if you drink three of those you should be good it's like 300 calories because they're 100 calories each um 
if you're more into vodka I also would like to say I hate wine like you will never see me drinking wine or beer like bleh, don't like them two go-to drinks um, with vodka and that is Tito's liquor is just my favorite I always buy Tito's but you can obviously buy a cheaper liquor like absolute or like something cheaper and then I do club soda cranberry juice that's like diet like zero sugar the trick is to get mixers with zero sugar and it might not taste as good but you know what you gotta risk it for the biscuit so I always do zero sugar um, things to like mix in mixers basically and then um, I'll put a splash of crayon the vodka club soda and three limes limes seriously are like a game changer like it could take a drink to the next level so if you've never tried putting limes in your drink girlfriend you do it. That's for like my new beginner drinkers who like don't really know anything yet. You know, you know, I was there months ago. And then also Tito's vodka, Tito's vodka with ginger beer and limes. Don't know who that is. So you can make like your own Moscow mule. So the biggest tip is to eat healthy throughout the week because if you're just eating bad on top of um, drinking, then you're obviously going to gain weight. But if you do eat healthy and then drink, just try and stay away from sugary drinks as much as possible. Like sometimes you just really can't avoid it and like you're out to eat and like you gotta get a sugary drink. But if you're like making your own, go buy mixers that have zero grams of sugar and that are diet or whatever and um, stick more to those. And I know it's not as fun to drink sometimes, but if you just do it and you create that habit, then that's gonna become your new normal. Like this whole fitness journey in college is about creating habits and creating your new normal. So yeah, that's just like my tips, but really the eating healthy thing throughout the week is like the biggest thing you can do because that really like sets the tone for your whole week and if you've been eating bad all week and then drinking, you're just going to get used to doing that and then creating a habit that's a bad habit versus a good habit. You just have to be really conscious and form very healthy habits early on so you're used to living this type of lifestyle for the long run instead of trying to make like a change very late in your life so yeah those are my tips but um i wanted to make this vlog that because i did just get back to school so now i'm going to be doing a huge grocery shop because i tried to eat all my food so i'm going to show you guys like what i buy and what i eat throughout the week and stuff like that this is probably going to be like a longer vlog so if this was all you wanted to know about i guess you can click off if not you can see my life at school but yeah, I'm about to go to the gym, so I'm going to do that and then really get my life together. But if you guys want to comment any questions you have down below, I can make a whole nother video if someone has like a really good question, or I will be answering all of your questions. Um, so yeah, carrying on into the vlog. Just realized I forgot to mention this, but I also only drink once a week. So I usually pick my day, and like the rare occasion, it's twice a week, and it usually is twice a week sometimes because of football season. But if not, like in spring semesters, it's once a week. Um... That being said, I'm not a huge drinker. Like, if one day someone was like, Bianca, you'll never get to have alcohol again, that would not phase me at all. I would just be like, okay, I'm probably rarely gonna drink after college, just like socially drinking, or like if Colin and I go out to dinner and get a drink, just like stuff like that. But I would never like, I'm not like an excessive drinker is basically how I would describe myself. So I also really think like, I think the reason I'm not an excessive drinker is because I want to go to the gym the next day and I know if I get like messed up and you know just go full throttle um I like won't go to the gym the next day and the gym is something that makes me really happy and I really enjoy going so I want to be in like a really good state when I get there because I want to have a really good workout so that's another thing I always keep in mind when I'm drinking so it's just all mental for me Okay, I put my hair up and I'm going to the gym. Not only am I like a really bad sweater, but I'm like a head sweater. So like, sorry if you think that's gross, but my hair is not about to look like this when I come back. So enjoy this like last little bit of like the cute hair because it's about to be gone. And seriously, like I can never get my hair this straight yesterday. I was like, dude, please. I have a hair guy who cuts my hair. I was like, please straighten it because I can never get it to look like that. It makes me so mad. But yeah. Okay, here's my gym fit. I'm just wearing ombre leggings. Can we talk about how Gymshark hasn't come out with anything in so long? Like, my wallet wants to buy something Gymshark, and that's, like, unhealthy. So, yeah. I have issues. I'm actually going to leave this here to charge, too. Okay, from behind. Because, um, someone must be cooking something. It smells good. Um, because it's about to be dead, and I want it to be charged by the time I go to the grocery store. So I can show you guys all that stuff. So, yeah. I'm about to go, though. I'm about to finesse the sweat out of my hair because I need to preserve this as long as possible. And then eat a shake and then go to the store. 
earlier I just remembered this I also finessed the sweat out of my hair and I'm going to the grocery store I didn't wash I'm gonna have to take a full shower later tonight but I just whoops I just remembered earlier when I was talking about like my drinking and stuff I said except one time on Lauren's birthday I don't think I finished the story um because then I went into like how I don't do drugs anyways I need to finish the story because I just remembered but I the one and only time I've like ever jeweled or however you call performing the task of the jewel um I threw up <laughs> that was my story so yeah I've only done it once never done it again that was like the first ounce of, I just ran over something in my driveway that was like the first ounce of nicotine my body has ever um consumed oh my god okay I just dropped the camera because there's this like construction guy and earlier today I literally ran into a tree ban tree branch in front of him while looking at my phone trying to um put up an Instagram story while I was walking to the gym and then ran into a tree right in front of him he was laughing at me whatever now I was like backing out of my driveway vlogging and he was looking at me so he probably thinks I'm literally like the freaking weirdest person ever but anyways I just had to finish that story but okay uh, I'm headed to the grocery store and I'm getting food for me lol I don't know what I'm saying um but yeah I just like make meals let me tell you how convenient isogenix is like I'm not even trying to like I'm just trying to be real with you guys. First of all, I do intermittent fasting, so I eat between noon and 8 p.m. Super easy at college, just saying. Lighting, terrible right now. And then, so I eat a shake, go to the gym, or go to the gym, eat a shake, like depending on what day I have class. Eat a snack, eat another shake, and then eat dinner, and that's it. That's all I eat all day long. It's literally so easy. I should not have gone this way. Freaking sucks. But yeah. And also, I save so much money on groceries because I'm eating two shakes a day, so I only need to make one meal, and I snack on, like, a bar for my Sogenics because they're, like, literally my favorite, so it's, like, so easy. And very money-saving for me. All right, about to do a haul of food. A food haul. The best kind of haul. All right, we got avocados because love them good source of fat eggs okay got this because i couldn't find bib lettuce for my tacos so i'm going to use um these little romaine long little things kale love it pain in a butt to clean baby spinach the usual mashed cauliflower i cook it not in the microwave though i like break it and put it in a pan it's like processed but whatever um zoodles and butternut squash because i'm gonna put pasta sauce on them and be creative um, cucumber, chicken, ground turkey. There's tomatoes back here for my tacos. Got this. I go to Publix, by the way. I'm like a Publix addict fan. Love it. Um, so I got this organic tomato basil sauce for my pasta zoodles. And also my favorite dressing, Skinny Girl Balsamic Vinaigrette. Sugar-free, fat-free, super cute.
I've got a little friend in my room this morning. She's so cute. She's just laying on the end of my bed right here. Looking good, girl. This morning, I was gonna wait to go to the gym later today, and then I just decided I have so much to do that I just need to go knock it out. So I'm gonna go knock it out. Here, I'll show you my gym fit. It's like a usual routine we do here. Um, coral ombre set and my towel tee is the fit. I'm gonna go do legs today on the new equipment. I'm very excited. So yeah, I'm gonna have to leave this cute little kitty. You can stay here if you want. If not, I gotta leave. Hey Bianca, I just wanted to say that I love you. So, it's been a minute. I've been slaving away doing homework, I swear. I'm so tired. I'm about to edit this vlog though because I've been doing so much work that i just want to take like me time and this is me time so editing lol um okay yeah i'm gonna end the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like it subscribe notifications all that jazz because you know i love you guys and yeah okay um i'm gonna go and i'm gonna see you guys in my next vlog